In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some querying through SQL in Microsoft Access. What do you do? You go to Create, Query Design, just close that out. Go to the SQL view right here, SQL view. And here's what we need, essentially. We need to select some attributes we want to display from the tables where the attributes come from where certain criteria are met, including linking PKs to FKs if we're using multiple tables. We can, if we want, group it by certain attributes, um, especially if we're using the totals functionality like summing or averaging. And we can order that, if we want, by other attributes, which are not necessarily from the select row. So let's do an example of this, a very simple example of this. So select some attributes. How about location city? From what tables? How about from location? Where? What criteria are met? How about where location city equals Atlanta? Group by? Well, this doesn't make a lot of sense, so let me add another criteria here. Or Chicago. Or location city equals Chicago. Group by? location city order by location city you know I don't know if this will actually work without a function in there <coughs> let's make this descending see if this runs it actually ran fantastic so we are ordered descending so Z to a Chicago then Atlanta location city let's go back to SQL view let's do this a little more complicated so select some attributes we want to display how about location <coughs> ID, location city. Let's do a calculated field, average salary. So we're calculating this on the fly and we need to give it an attribute name. So we'll say as AVE salary. So that's just a name we're coming up with. From where? Well, we need at least the location and it looks like the employee. So location employee, where certain criteria are met well, first thing we need to do is link the PK and the FK. So location ID from the employee table equals location dot ID from the location table. What do we want to group that by? Well, let's group by location city and location ID. And we want to order it by location city in descending order. If you want to do ascending order, just don't put anything there. Let's do that run and there you have it we have grouped by location and location ID the average salary in those areas and it is listed ascendingly pretty cool go back to SQL do you need all of this stuff the answer is no I can actually get rid of all of that and just select location let's see location ID and location city from the location table if you're just using one table and you don't have any criteria, you just want to list everything in that column, this is all you need. Let me run it. Oop, location ID is from the employee table. There we go. I could just use ID if I wanted the ID in there. And run. There we are, the IDs and locations in the location table. And that's all there is to it. Hope that was helpful.